Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video I will be discussing polycystic ovary syndrome which is PCOS for short. So I can't believe how common it is because when I got that you feel like you're on your own. You can't discuss these symptoms because you get embarrassed. Um, but I hope my video brings you joy where you can talk about it. And like I've signed up for this Facebook group and how many people suffer with this condition? Oh my God, it's amazing how many people. I take, you know what, I'll take me out soft here. And if you ever do stumble across my videos, say hi, comment what symptoms you had. But I have wrote down a couple of things because you forget, don't you? So anyway, the first one is weight gain. Um, since I can remember, I'm not a skinny person, I, do you know what I mean? But you find over the years, no matter what you eat, you still, them pounds add up, don't they? So, yeah. Um, air loss is a big factor of mine. I will go in the shower, I'll be washing my hair, and I could have clumps in my hands. And in itself, that's depressing. But my hair is that thick. Like, some women have bulb, bulb patches. And do you know what I mean? Like, thank touch wood, I've never had that, uh, but I've always had thick hair as well. So, and another one is irregular periods, which I always believe because I used to be on the pill when I was younger and I've come off it. And since I came off the pill, that's when I've become having irregular periods. So, I think a pit, my pill played a big factor in that. Um, one of the most common ones is unwanted facial hair, which I do suffer with. That was actually the first symptom I ever got. And when I can always remember, I was on holiday and I looked in the mirror and literally I had black hairs. And do you know what? It was horrible. And I shaved them. Obviously, it took me ages to actually build up the courage to tell my mum and that. But again good family network they reassured me even now sometimes i get shy but i feel like because i'm like more older and wiser you kind of don't care what you talk about so anyway difficulty getting pregnant if you're anything like me wanting a baby so bad and basically every time you go to the doctors for your scans you're losing hope um but that's just my symptoms um and I kept going to the doctors and I think they must have got sick on me that much that they did it eventually let me go and have a scan. So anyway, to check both over. So I went for a scan and they says I've got little tiny flonicles on both my ovaries. That's literally blocking, if I am ovulating, an egg to drop down. Um, so I did try and ask them questions but basically they couldn't give me an answer. Um, I had to speak to my doctor. I didn't get nowhere with my doctor. So again, you've, I come out of that room feeling very disappointed and very low. Um, all I got told was lose weight. And at the time, I smoked, so quit smoking. Again, with polycystic ovaries, easier said than done. You can't just go on a diet and think you're just going to lose weight. Because you can't. And I must, I've got to say that with polycystic ovaries... There is um, dangers of type type 2 diabetes. Um, and you will not, It's not, the condition will not come out until you're in your late teens, early 20s, which I think I was in my early 20s when, when I met late teens when I started getting facial hair. So I've just like noted a couple of things down. Um... But again, um, if you go to doctors and you do take, because I didn't know that when you've got polycystic ovaries, you've got like four boxes, unless it's gone up now, but you've got four boxes you need to take. And if you don't take all them boxes, they will not diagnose you with polycystic ovaries. So again, push. Tell them how you're feeling, whether, because if you're anything like me, Irregular periods mean when you do come on, 
when you do come on you come on with vengeance and you're really bad and you get pains in your stomach and everything even write it down keep a journal write it down go to the doctors and push that say you want something sorting about it um and i've just been reading here and it says not all women with polycystic ovary syndrome will have all of the symptoms and each symptom can vary from mild to severe i think i've got it mild some people's got it from severe and i think um tablets do tend to help you but again um don't let them fob you off that's my main thing because i felt like i did get fobbed off and even now i never got any help even con conceiving my daughter which i'll talk about in the next video i'm doing couples who struggle having a baby which against all odds luckily i've got a beautiful baby girl who i cherish a lot so with all them odds it can happen even with polycystic ovaries but all i can say is don't give up every couple out there woman please and if you feel like this video is out please comment if there's any symptoms that you've got because this is just about my symptoms um please feel free to comment and i don't mind doing a video i'm thanking all all my subscribers um uh, but no if you can pass me on but and i've helped and i even and i've helped just one of you i know i'm doing my job and i know i've done the right thing by doing a youtube channel but anyway i'm going to sign off here please please subscribe it's absolutely free and it really helps me out um, like and click that notification bell for when i do upload videos i am going to try and put a couple of more videos out like daily um just to discuss about my life before i move on to whatever you want to discuss about um so yes i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you in my next video